Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's first time you're here, my name is Jenny. And if you're again here with us, then welcome back. I'm happy that you're watching. Today I wanted to show you a new perfume to my collection. Actually, I was very late on the train, but it had a reason why. <laughs> Actually, it's the Mikalev Ylang. I have the in gold version, but the normal Ylang of Mikalev smells exactly the same if you're wondering it's the same perfume just here it has this golden golden particles inside so it's kind of just an extra that nobody needs but when i ordered it they had only this version so i ordered that one <laughs> so we're going to talk today about this perfume but not only that i wanted to show you or talk with you a little bit about the combination that is so hyped here in YouTube and everybody's telling you it's heaven. It's Amoise Sunshine and the Ylang of Mikal. So I will tell you my opinion, my honest opinion. Um, all these perfumes I bought for my own money, guys. I just want to tell it again. Um, I'm reviewing really honest what I think and uh, I'm not doing anything uh, to... I'm just making it for you, okay? Just for you to know what is my honest own opinion. <laughs> so if you're interested in this video, please stay with me. And if you like this kind of videos, give me a thumb up or subscribe to my channel. I would love to welcome you to our family here. And if you're gonna stay with me, we will start now with the Ilang of Mikala. So, why did it took me so long to get this perfume, guys? It had a reason. The reason is when I first smelled it, it reminded me so much of Kashmir from Chopin. So, this was my signature scent in my, oh God, I was very young when <laughs> I was using that one for a couple of years and then I couldn't smell it anymore. And when I smelled this one, the first time, the first thing that came to my mind, oh, it smells a lot like Kashmir. Okay, just... To put it out of the way, yes, it reminds me of cashmere, but it doesn't really smell like it, okay? It's a different perfume. This one here is much more wearable. It's more modern. It's not so heavy. This one is an all-year-round perfume. Definitely the cashmere of Chopin was so heavy. I mean, this was only for the colder month, and today I cannot smell the cashmere anymore at all. I'm getting headaches from it. From this one, I'm not getting headaches. I love it. It's very, very nice. It's feminine. It's beautiful. It's a floral gourmand, I would say, um, oriental a little bit. Um, it's I smell mostly coconut, vanilla. It has tangerine orange. It has geranium. It has artemisia, ylang ylang, definitely. And you smell the ylang ylang, really. It has rose, sandalwood, lily of the valley, magnolia, coconut, vanilla, and musk is listed. I don't smell musk at all. But it's a very, very nice, cozy, warming, um, I think crowd-pleasing, office, for the office even a perfume, for every day. It's really a signature scent worth, definitely. It's sweet, it's very sweet, but it's not too sweet. For those outside there who don't like coconut, I don't recommend you this perfume. This is, I smell a lot of coconut and a lot of vanilla, definitely, and the ylang ylang. This is mostly the notes in this perfume. But still, I think it's a great piece of art. It's a niche fragrance, you smell it. <clears throat> the cashmere of Chopin is um, much more easy. It's not so deep, it's not so interesting. This one is really interesting, it's discovering more and more and the dry down, it becomes very, yeah, you feel like on an island, the drinking, uh, I don't know, a pina colada somewhere. Uh, it, it gives me this kind of vibe, very, very beautiful perfume. I like the sillage is very good. The longevity is out of this world a whole day, even the next day I can smell it. Um, it's, it's really great. It's really great. The men definitely will like that on a woman. I'm very, very sure. It's very feminine. Is it unisex? I don't I don't see it so much on a man. Definitely a man can wear it, but I, I, I really think it's more on the female side. And um, to me, it smells very, very feminine. 
great perfume guys great i recommend you 100 percent for a blind buy i don't know if you like coconutty very vanilla sweet gourmand scents probably you will love that but um, i recommend you to try it um, i think maybe for some people it might be too sweet but like this i believe it's a really crowd pleasing perfume so this was about the ilang of Mikalev, and now i want to tell you something about the whole god so height combination heaven on earth amour sunshine and ilang of Mikalev. so today in the morning i tried it again for you and i put them together on my wrist what can i tell you guys so the perfume on their own amour sunshine one of my top five for life okay this perfume is perfection in a bottle this perfume is so beautiful and perfect that i believe why should people want to make something perfect better i mean already this this amour sunshine is perfection and I believe you should be wearing it alone because it's perfect. It doesn't need nothing else. It's perfect. <laughs> so the Ilang from Mikalev is a perfect scent. It's not as good as the sunshine, I just want to say, but it's still good. It's very good. Okay. So each of them alone are perfect per perfumes and I recommend them a hundred percent. This one a 200 this one 100%, okay? But guys, together the combination, it ruins everything. Sorry, I might be the only person in the world who thinks that because I know the big YouTubers out there, our perfume gurus outside there are all saying it's a heaven connection. Together, they are just everything for me. Together, they are a catastrophe. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I wish I could tell you something else. I tried it out for you, just for you, in case you are thinking of buying both of them to wear them together. Please, please don't do it. It destroys everything. In the opening, when you put them together, it's still something that I could say is wearable for me, okay? In the dry down, it just becomes like a sweet syrup of, for me, awful perfume nothing else it's it's not wearable for me and this what i love in amouage this it's sweet but it's the lightness it's sunny it makes me happy when the elan comes inside it it destroys the whole perfume and the amouage destroys the elan so this is my honest opinion guys the combination of these two doesn't worth the hype don't do it these are two perfect masterpieces of sense. And I don't know who got this idea of making a masterpiece better. I mean, you can only destroy it when you make something that is already perfect and you're trying to make it better. What for? There is no need for it. So please do wear Amour Sunshine by itself. It doesn't need nothing else, guys. It's perfect on its own. And wear Ilang of Mikalev, but also on its own. It doesn't need nothing else. And guys, this is my honest opinion. Write me please in the comments if I'm alone with my opinion that this combination doesn't worth the hype and shouldn't be worn. Please, please don't do it. Don't do it. It doesn't worth. I can just tell you, I would smell it again. No, it smells like grandma to me. Okay, it's a syrupy grandma perfume not i love grandmas no, don't get me wrong now but it smells it destroys everything it really destroys everything please tell me your opinion do you have both did you try this combination what do you think about it i would love to read it and just to feel that i'm not alone out there i hope my review helped you out a little bit and um, maybe you write me your opinion what do you think Otherwise, I hope I could help you a little bit and you like the video. And uh, if you are not yet subscribed, maybe you subscribe to my channel. I would love to um, have you here in our family and uh, hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Until then, bye bye.